the first young snorkel I remember that was really impressive was the one you built for Buffalo on that huge Ford F series chassis with a four door cab. Oh yeah, Pittman eighty five foot boom. I they had that a long time as I remember. And they had. It was an interesting too in the development process. They had a fire in a six story building where the people before had put concrete blocks in where the windows were, and it was burning inside, and they couldn't get water in on the fire. So some guy says, well, here, we'll swing the bucket like this, and I'll swing the sledgehammer. And they, oh. just, they did this mean, and boom, one broke and came down. Oh, my God. Jeez. That was, that, it, that was a terrible thing. Yeah. But it just so happened that it was in a business right next to where they had wrecking equipment. <laughs> Luck. The, the chief called me and he says, your boom is down. I said, uh-oh, I went in there. And the only way I could get it out of there was the boom operations were still right, but they, you couldn't pull up. So we got, we got a big uh, wrecker and my brother came in and we got it out of there and in our shop before the photographs could even get there. <laughs> but it was it, the development of these things that you, you go through failures to make them better. Learn along the way. Yeah. yeah, like those boosting cylinders up here, the short cylinders. We designed those to raise, help raise that out of the boom because at the angle that the cylinders were working at back here didn't generate enough torque. Now that's interesting. Yeah. The details that you'd never notice. Well, you'd notice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we did a lot of wow. stuff on here. Jeez.